there are different types of verbs verb is there with a subject to show an action or or a state again a position there are three types of verbs one is one denotes action second state of being third is position action what is an action verb you can think of an action something done play p l a y play is an action research is an action write sing jump run all these are action verbs now state means avastha who you are what he is or she is or they are state verb it shows the state of the person or the subject forms of be forms of be eight forms are there is am are was where be been being is am are was where be being all these are state verb that those these verbs show the state who is he he is mr john who is she she is a doctor what is her name her name is elizabeth so action verb is state verb and possession verb subtain so possession verb is auxiliary also do you have a pen yes i have a pen does he have a pen no he does not have a pen has have had this is possession verbs we have seen three types of verbs action verb state verb and possession verb now we see the use of this verb or the agreement of the verbs according to the time a verb used according to the time is in different forms sometimes it is used for a present action or a present state of being or a present possession then the present tense we have present simple present progressive 
present perfect present perfect continuous you just say indeed tense i said present tense present tense <coughs> present simple means the verb is in present tense and there is a subject most of the time there is object so in a subject object is not mandatory it is not must present is simple we can use a subject any subject ramesh ramesh speaks Spanish Ramesh speaks Spanish Ramesh subject speaks verb Spanish is the object here Ramesh is singular no there is only one ramesh so the verb should be singular i said earlier i think you remember the symbol of the identifying mark of a singular subject is the alphabet s at the end of the verb so s is here so it is singular Ramesh speaks Spanish. You can develop or write such examples as many as you can. Another one. Sabin. Sabin. Read or reads. Of course, reads. Reads a novel. A novel is object. Reads is the is the verb singular verb. Sabin is a subject. So present simple tense. The verb is singular. So there should be an s at the end now a plural subject sabin and ramesh go to market so here Sabin and Ramesh, two people. Here there is only one singular, so we gave a singular verb. Here two people, Sabin and Ramesh, so it is plural. Of course, the verb should also be plural. See there is no yes or yes or is at the end of the verb so it is plural so basic form of the verb usually it is plural that can be used to market is the object 
can use some pronouns. Uh, different pronouns we have seen. Meaning now we can use an indefinite pronoun. Let us use one indefinite pronoun. Some is an indefinite pronoun. Some make money from real estate real estate business Okay, so th this is this is simple present simple tense. Thus, if the subject is singular, we have to use singular verb. When the subject is plural, we have to use plural verb now how can we make singular and plural verbs let us see that one verb is read so to make a singular Add yes. Yes. Reads. Okay. Now it is singular. Right. Right. Rights. The singular. So usually to the basic form, when you add yes to the basic form, it becomes singular. And most of the verbs become Singular by using one S. Yes. Now we shall see another verb. Read, reads, write, writes. Then we can jump, jumps, run, runs, sleep, sleep, sleeps, speak, speaks. Walk, W A L K, walk, walks, look, looks. Now you have seen singular verb adding one S. Now another group of verbs. They become singular by adding ES. Only when ES is added, those verb those verbs become singular. So there's there's, there's a shortcut. Remember,
वर्ड्स एंडिंग ओके यस ओ सेड सी एच एस एच दो वर्ड्स एंडिंग इन दिस यस ओ जेड और सी एच सी एच और एस एच we have to use es yes mrs do or go Does this buzz means buzzing sound? Moral. This. See it. Catch. Preach. Teach. any word words or verbs ending in with sh wish wash so the verbs ending in s o z c h s h this become singular when they are added with e s okay next group next group is those verbs which become singular by adding ies let us see Verse singular of play. Play is plays. Plays. As I said about the first group, simply adding one es. And forget this. What's the singular of study? Study. The singular of study is S T U D Then this Y is taken off. I E S. Here, the last Y is cut. and there i e s is added this verb ends with the alphabet of y this play 
here also the last alphabet is y so both verbs have y at the end but here only yes this added here y is removed and added ies so there is a rule if the last y alphabet y follows a vowel a e i o u so vowel here is a vowel a and y follows the vowel a so if the last y in a verb follows a vowel then no need of removing y and adding a yes just add yes if that word has a vowel before the last y you see not here s t u d y here also the last alphabet is y and which is followed d is followed by y so d is not a vowel so if the last y of a verb does not follow a vowel or it follows a consonant then remove y and add ies you can think of another examples pray of course a is there simply add an s no need of taking out y and add is price okay cry or fry see this is not a vowel so you have to make it c r i e s removing y and adding i e s so these are the three types of verbs this can be made into singular by adding s es and ies now i think it is clear the last one i said adding ies if the last alphabet y in a verb follows a vowel remove y and add instead of y place ies then it becomes singular we saw subject plus verb agreement see when singular subject come singular verb should be given i have given the examples now we saw present simple present simple we saw next is present progressive or present continuous continuing is going on he reads a book she is reading a book 
Here also singular plural should be not east. She, he, Ramesh, Sunil, Sabin, Chalvin, Roshan, Jesse, Lakshmi, Rukmani. All these are singular verbs. So singular verbs should be used for continuous tense or progressive tense. Forms of be is a must. There should be a piece of B forms. I said eight forms of B are there. Is Amar, was where, be been, being. She is. She is singular, so is he singular. I said earlier to know whether it is a singular verb, there is a symbol of singular that is yes, here also, yes is there. So it is singular. She is singing. Sing is the verb added ing form. This ing form is known as present participle form of a verb. Okay, she is singing. Is writing. Talvin is writing. He is writing. Okay. Roshan and Christine are playing. Playing tennis. R is a B form, form of B as the subject is plural, R the state verb R is used with the present participle or ing form, R playing. Jimmy is doing the homework. Doing the homework. Ali is cooking cooking biryani is cooking is doing and jimmy and molly are cooking lunch okay the subject is plural, so R plus ing form or participle form is present participle form is used. Present symbol and present progressive or present continuous. We have seen both. Next is past symbol or simple past. Simple past means instead of present verb present tense we use past tense that's all jimmy cooked lunch played Molly played basketball yesterday. So it's a past. This is a past indication yesterday. 
last month, two hours ago, one year, last year, the ten years ago, we got freedom in nineteen forty-seven. India got freedom in nineteen forty-seven. So it's a past indication is there. Whenever there is a past indication, the past tense should be used. Was he a doctor? No, he was not a doctor. He was a village officer. He was a village officer. Now he is not a village officer because he retired. So he was running was a student. She was a student and now she is not a student. Now she is a doctor or now she is a nurse. Ritha was a nursing student, was, was a nursing student. Now she is not a student, she is a nurse. So was and uh, Jimmy and Rani were medical students. Now they are not students, they are doctors. They were was so this is present past simple or simple past simple past can be used for any action of the time any action of any time hundred years back ago two hundred years ago 2000, 9000, million years ago, if there, if there happened an action, we can use simple past. Adam and Eve ate the forbidden fruit. Adam and Eve ate the simple past, past tense. Eat the forbidden fruit. Okay. This simple past in its past progressive or past continuous. Some action continued in the past. He was playing football for two hours yesterday. It was playing, was cooking, was studying, was singing. The past, there should be the past indication. Though there is no past indication, you can use the past progressive. When the subject refers, they, we, he, she, it, that, these, those, any subject can be used. Or names in place of pronouns, you can use names. They were preparing for 
the entrance test they were preparing for the entrance test medical entrance test medical entrance or entrance test for engineering anything we were planning to go to to munar where plural where plural was singular here also look or notice the past tense normally there is no singular plural difference but with the forms of be for be there is a difference singular and plural in the past form play play it there is no singular plural uh, difference say said no difference whether the substantive is a plural or singular said is used or played is used but here if the subject is singular in the past tense singular past form should be used singular past and identify identification mark of singular yes at the end was this is plural there is no yes at the end so past progressive can be used for actions continued in the past next as you know we so present simple present progressive past simple and past progressive now future future tense you know very well is an action of future will you come tomorrow yes i will come tomorrow will there be any any cricket match tomorrow yes there will be cricket match when will kerala blasters and northeast united play to play each other the play will be the match will be on so and so date so will or shall is the modal verbs is used future will or shall then future continues some action continuing in the future they will be playing billiards tomorrow from 10 am to 11 am so for that duration will be playing i said for every progressive action a bit of be form should be there so here will be playing will be doing okay so there is future tense now we shall see present participle past participle what is present participle present participle denotes or refers to 
an action completed just before the present or an action without having any past indication. Vartamana kalatina tottadatu nilkunnataya uru pravartanatayo Pudha kalatinde sujanagal unnu milata uru pravartanatayo Karnikunnadana present participle. It's very simple. Present participle. For present participle, it's a subject plus has or have. According to the number. For singular has, for plural half. Plus V3 or past participle form of the verb. Third form of the verb. So what's the third form of go? Go, went, gone. Write, wrote, written. Did, do, did done this is a third form so third form v3 or past participle of past participle plus objective needed so this is present present participle form for example, Roshan is singular. So, which of these can be used? Has can be. Has past participle of right. Write, wrote, written. Written. In oven. So, version completed the novel. Now, and he came to us and said, Oh, I have completed, I have completed the novel. So, an action just before the present is present participle. They have played football. We have gone to, Mon to Munar. 7.27 a.m. Okay. The rest we shall see later. Thank you.